Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, press the subscribe button and hit that bell so you get a notification of every time that I post. Which low key right now I'm trying to post at least once a week, twice a week. My schedule is going to change a little bit, um, mainly for the summer. So I'm not really sure how filming is going to go. But like I'm going to try. But like for now let's aim for a video a week. So this is going to be a what's in my bag slash purse video. I like watching these. I know it's like an old tag and you know I can hear all the what's in my bag videos from 2015 roll their eyes in. Like flutter, flutter, flutter. But I don't care. I still watch these videos so I figured eh why not show you guys what's in my purse. Or backpack I should say. So let's just jump right into it. So I got this bag, it is a Christian Siriano backpack. So I got this backpack at Payless. I was recently in the States in April of this year. So I looked in Express and Forever 21 and Walmart and Target. Like I looked everywhere for a decent sized backpack that could fit everything that I need and more or less and nowhere had a backpack so I paid less for shoes and I came out with a pair of shoes and my new favorite backpack so it is fall leather and it has a magnetic button here and then I just had this little key luggage tag because I was using this as like my carry-on when I came back so never used it but like it's there so it is mine then I have this little foxy lady thing I got from Walmart. It is so soft and fluffy. I have my keychain. And then in the back, it has this handle and then has the two backpack straps. And then it has a pocket here. I don't really use it for anything, but like, it's there. And that's the whole point. If the pocket is there for you when you need it. Like I said, I already showed you this, and I'm going to show you my keys. So I just have my house key and my car key, and then I have my Brooklyn Bridge little keychain, and I have my Massachusetts Boston one, and I have my Anna and Elsa one. My little cousin actually gave this to me because she said I was her Elsa and she was Anna. So like, that's cute. She's like three, so that's really cute. And class of 2008. It's been a few years, obviously, because it is dirty. And, like, bleach ain't doing it. And I have a little whistle here and, like, a little, little lights thing. And then I have this with a chat, like, a K on it. My friend got me, like, when I was 13, but, like, that part fell out. But, like, it's just so cute. I just put on one of these heavy-duty ones and strap on one end. That's it. So, jumping in. The bag actually has this print all in the inside. And the one thing that I really like about this bag is that you can dress it up or you can dress it down. And this had gum on it and I tried to get out. And um, we have some issues right now. So we're going to ignore that. You guys have never seen that either. So it just has a string right here. And just pull it down. And... The bag opens up. So. That's what it looks like in the inside. So this bag has, like I said, the pocket on the outside. It has a zip pocket right there. And then two pockets right here. So I'm going to start with, like, little, like, big. But first I'm going to these pockets. So, I always keep a pen with me, and I think there's a pen somewhere else. And then like I said, because I was traveling, I just had this, and this had like all my pills in it, and I still carry it along. Um, you know, Bandro Tylenol, Richard Sickness, Richard Sickness, Tylenol, and then I also have Dremelin in here now. Uh, my gold chain, my silver chain, I just put it in here so I won't lose it, because it's too small to go anywhere else. So, we got that. I mean, if you have a headache, like, oh my god, should I get allergies or acting up? Oh my god, you. Okay, you got Tylenol Sinus and Vanager if you want, like, I am got you. And then in this pocket, I have 
my favorite gum in the world, which unfortunately they don't have in Bermuda. So lucky for me, a family friend, she lives away, she visits, and she just got me about 30 more of these. So I'm like pretty much good to like October, November, because my parents like this, and like my friends are like, hey, so that gum that you came back from away, and I'm like, I'm glad you guys. Also, Tic Tac, if you want to like sponsor a girl, like emails down below, hit me up, okay? Because this is, this is my life. Okay, and it's a cool watermelon flavor. Sugar-free gum as well. And then in the same pocket, I just have my Maybelline Super Stay 24 color. And it is in the color. So, that's all I know. Um, it's almost like a wine color though. So like. Like that but it dries off if you add a thin layer it'll be lighter and then if you add in a thick layer it'll be darker and then you just put this on top so this is the magic that happens okay and so in this back zipper pocket I just have some tissues I have my secret deodorant bowl Funny story, this cost $4.99 at Walmart and Target and when I got to Bermuda and I asked around the pharmacies if they were going to bring this in, they said this would cost up to $18 for this, for this. Also we're going to ignore my jacked off nails. Just because I had acrylics on. And gel and then I took them off and my nails are long and my nails are just eh. so we're gonna ignore that and then in here I just have a few extra lenses for my phone so what happens is you put this on your phone and this is my fish eye lens it comes with a macro lens and a wide angle lens you just put this on clip it to your phone camera and you have different lenses and it really works. I know skeptical too and nothing in there. So first I have my shades. Now I got these at Goodwill like when I went away. So I don't really have a case, I just throw them in with diamonds on both sides. So cute, so not something I'm really worried about if they break or something like that. And now I have my pink vanilla kiss spray by Body Fantasies. And I also got this at Walmart. Really cute. Smells like heaven. And then this is the only skincare routine, which is why I'm not gonna bother doing one because I literally just take one of these pads and I wipe my face with it and my chest and my neck. And this is what helps me get new zits. And if I do feel a zit on it, I will put this on. And if I do get a zit, then I go straight up, clean it, and it is good. So Noxima, again, Noxima, if you want to hit a girl up, I'm using this since I was like 10 years old. Using it since I was 10 years old. So, uh, you could hook me up with these, and I'll love you even more. So, Noxima Ultimate Clear Anti-Blemish Pads, clears and prevents breakouts for smooth, clear skin, and it's a salicylic acid acne treatment. And they just look like that. And then, I have a pink tablet. I have a pink tablet, so I just have an AC charger. It does take the same chargers as Android phones, but that charges faster. And that is actually right here. It's the RCA. I might do a tech review on it, but it's a preview looks like that. Now going into this pouch and this pouch. And I actually got both of these at Walmart. Again, I think these are like four dollars. I want to believe, and these are jewelry organizers. I actually have one for my jewelry, but these are really neat because they organize whatever you want. So the black and white polka dot is all of my cords and accessories that I use on a daily basis. So here is an aux cord extender. This is just my favorite charm, my good luck charm. 
here are the different size earbuds to these headphones. My dongle is already on them. In this pouch, I just have an extra aux cord, an extra dongle. And this dongle actually lets you charge your phone with a lightning cable and a 3.5 milliliter headphone. And you just plug that part into your phone and you can charge and listen to music at the same time. And I have my lightning cord and then I usually keep an extra USB cord in here. So that's one. In this one, I keep everything but the kitchen sink. I'm kidding. But like not really because here I have a fork, a spoon, and a knife set from Denali's that I got. And then like I said, here is my other two lenses. So here is the wide angle and then the macro lens. Here I just have a pen from Christmas Tree Shop with my initial K on it. And then I got these two pens at the Dollar Tree or Family Store. Family Tree. I don't remember the name already, forgive me. But they're also styluses. And this is a marker. Here's a lipstick. And it's pretty much melted and, and battered up, but it's like a pinkish. And this is from. It's the 13 Love Pop. I don't know, but it's the 13 Love Pop. And then in here. I have this. This can be used for many different reasons. It has my pocket knife, it has my corkscrew, and my bottle opener. And I've got the knife to cut rope if I have to. Or protect myself. The next thing in my bag, and I'm trying to hurry this along, is this sunglasses case from Walmart. But I decided to put in my antibacterial wipes of Clorox and wet ones. They just go in here. Next, I have my wallet, and I got this from Amazon. I wanted a wallet that would fit all of my cards, all of my receipts, all my important papers, all of my cash, all of my money. And like, funny story, I ordered it, and then the week before it came here, it actually got damaged, and the company emailed me and was like, okay, we're gonna send you another one. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was so upset that I wasn't gonna get it. And I looked for all the wallets, and like, you know, like, this deodorant. Like, this had to be the wallet. And then lastly, I have my Ramis charger bag and I actually keep all my extra power banks in here so I have one charger at the moment it's like this charger is what I mean that like the tablet uses and stuff so I have one of those right now and I keep everything in my Tiffany & Co shade case just because it protects so I have one, two, three, and four power bricks. Like, if I go with my friends and their batteries are dying, I'm like, I got you, okay? Hashtag, not all heroes wear capes, some have power banks. Because it's 2018, and like, let's be honest, phones are life. So, and actually, funny story. These two are identical. The design of the front is different. They do the exact same thing. And I got this in Bermuda. And I got this at the five below store. Five star, wow. Five below store. And the reason why it's funny, I paid $35 for this in Bermuda. I paid $5 for this at the five below store. And when I went to get this one, right next door was this one. The exact same one. And I told my mom, my cousin, I said, you've got to be kidding me. I paid $35 for this in Bermuda and the exact one was just hanging next to this one. So, that's all I'm going to say about like, how expensive Bermuda is and these are just like they're basic like they they work like they wouldn't be like a survival thing but they're good they charge the three blue lights come up so and that is actually it for my bag so the inside looks like that and Christian Siriano for Payless. It's a really good quality bag, by the way. I've had it since April. It's been with me, you know, to parks and to gardens and to restaurants and in the car. Just throw it sometimes. 
so sorry bag but it's really good it's holding up really nice it's fall leather and it's just it's really good you know it's really easy to clean off it has these marks in the front and like I said magnetic strip which is good and so far the strings they're holding up and I open and close my bag almost every single day so that is going to be it for my video thank you for watching give this video a like if you want to see more videos like it and like the video if you think my bag is cute and also I I'm going to try to find the link to it, but honestly, since April, I'm not sure they still have the bag there. If I could find it, I will link it down below. So, thank you so much, and goodbye!